All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video from the channel by the name of Leah's Chill. Today, we are returning to Tokyo Gold Break the Chains. Obviously, I'm recording this right after the last one. Uh, and I just wanted to showcase the Event Crusade battle here. Obviously, they have the recommended Amon there, but inside this game right now, the blue category is like blowing every other category out of the fucking water. So we're going to be running this team to fight the Bin Brothers today. Uh, you pretty much need to have over 25 or 250,000 CP and the same person or the person you're fighting with on your team will have to have the same so above that amount to be able to go first because they'll one shot you if you don't go first. And I'm keeping Noro so I can break AoE uh, even though he's not going to do too much damage inside this. So let's go ahead and get someone in here. Okay. Uh, can't read the the thing right there, but I am definitely ready to hop right in. Seems like we have a Japanese player, because I believe that's one of the... I, I don't know if it's kanji. I'm pretty sure it's a kanji I've seen before. I want to translate it while we're doing this. Hmm. Uh, if, if he does a card in the top left, I'm just going to immediately screenshot it. Okay, let's see if I have an Uta card first. Because I obviously want to indicate to him, so I'm a good partner. Uh, I do have an Uta card. And then I will immediately... Oh, we're going right for it. In that case, I'm probably going to do Kaneki into Rize and try and kill the left one. So the left bin, if you let him survive the first turn, uh, he will give warding to both of them. And unfortunately, that will make it so you can't do any damage to the main one. So I typically just blitz the left one anyway. You also can't kill the main boss bin without the other one being dead already. So it's not going to matter, really. Do you have Ultra Week? No, he doesn't have Ultra Week. Okay. We're cooking, we're cooking. Now, even if he the left bin does get broken, it automatically does warding regardless. So it's not going to matter what you choose. Oh, no, it didn't do warding. Weird. Uh, we're just going to try and do that. And then I would like... We'll just see how this cooks. Because I have so many Uta cards right now, it's not really worth it for me to hold back. I think his Ammon actually might, like, crush here. Because Ammon, the moment that he gets his hands on the main bin... So, obviously, AoE. That'll do one weak damage. Oh, no, I should have given Ammon the break. That's my bad. But no, I do give Ammon the break because I hit the other bin with my Rize. So he's going to break with Ammon and get an extra crit damage buff. That's, like, your ideal form of that turn, too. Good shit. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade anyway. Like, a deadass, it doesn't matter. And I trust you to kill. I'm just gonna waste some Noros and not really care too much. I can use the Noros to break next turn, but I'd sooner have the opportunity to have more Kaneki cards in my hand, you know? Kaneki's just worth so much more, you know? He's built different. If I didn't have Kaneki for this event, I feel like weakening them and trying to actually, like, break them every turn probably wouldn't be very reliable. And so, I really don't know the strats, aside from just get good AoEs. Um, and it's one of the weakest categories in the game right now as well, for... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, oh wait, is it my card? It is my card. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, inside the game right now, uh, the blue category is cracked out of its mind, and the red category is kind of struggling. Um, but even so, Kaneki is so dominant in the blue category that it's still really hard to justify, like, not having him. I'm really worried about the fact that he's not on the current banner for Amon, because if he doesn't come back, he's going to end up being the difference between, like, older players and new players. Uh, obviously, kill both the tails so they don't do, like, much more damage on the first turn. Um, I'm gonna just upgrade and then break, and I'm gonna have faith in this guy that he's gonna absolutely crush it. Uh, Kaneki will break, so Ammon's not getting any extra crit damage buffs, but not a huge deal. I think we should kill this turn. Ammon should hit for, like, a good 20%. Then Kaneki obviously will do the 10% extra. No, he just did... That was 33% damage. Because they block above 30, 35%, sorry. So he did 35% damage with Ammon. He does way more than Kaneki does. Pure DPS. 
Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this over. Um... And fucking uh, just scream at the top of my lungs. I'm just I'm just gonna pop the Kaneki so it breaks the. I want to break like the min, the main Bin brothers. So we're just gonna have faith in that and that he's gonna kill the tails. Nope, got blocked. Damn. No, he did, he chose. Hmm. I chose the bins too. Please tell me you chose the tails. If he didn't, um, my Uta probably dies this turn. Wow. Never mind. That lessens our drops, but I'm definitely still fine with that. Good job to that guy. I should have checked his name. Here, I'll, I'll have the meaning of his name on screen right now if I remember. Okay, we're gonna do two more of these. Obviously, like, the strats are pretty generic in terms of what you're planning around, and so it's not the hardest thing in the world. Honestly, what I've been doing for most of these so obviously my friends list is kind of stacked with people that are like really invested in the game so far because we're just kind of community here. Um, I've been inviting Nub regardless because Nub's like crazy ass uh, Kaneki one shots anyway. So we're going to do one more where it's an AI based one um, and then we'll just try out another one after this with another stranger. But honestly this boss compared to a lot of the Crusades right now even the highest difficulty is a lot easier. So I feel like they might have just kind of balanced this one a little bit less because no one was playing the Noro raid last time. Like, people just didn't have the faith in themselves to beat it. I was the same way. I was only doing up to normal and then kind of stopped doing it halfway through. Um, that was an excellent turn. And I think I'm actually going to do double Noro because it should stun regardless with two AoEs. No, it's not going to stun him. So he's going to get warding off. Damn. No, it stuns. It, it does the four weakness damage I need to do. So that's all good. I'll have the Kaneki cards and Rize cards for next turn. Yeah, we're cruising. Okay, yeah, that's not a bad turn. So I think you pretty much need to weaken the warding guy if you're trying to do an AoE type of build. So if you're using like Ayato and using uh, Noro. But uh, if you're not really focused on that, then that was a great first style of turn for that. I'm just going to pop my Rize at the end. I feel like it might actually destroy. Please focus on the other bin first. He did warding. So yeah, he was too low when he did warding automatically. And because it's an AI, it's not going to choose the right bin. So that is one of the drawbacks of using someone that's AI instead. Regardless, this guy should die from these Rizes. Um... Yeah, I'll probably hit for 300k here, so it should kill, right? Oh, no, I didn't even hit that high. I got, like, bad crits on that, if that makes sense. Um, yep, yeah, I'm just gonna pop the AoE, pop the AoE. Um, wow, this hand sucks ass. Uh, I think I'd get ready for the 3-star Uta next turn. Being able to upgrade my Kaneki. Near death state also make sure that he doesn't die. He'll always stay on one HP. So you have to kill his brother to be able to kill him. Not a big deal, obviously. It's just like nothing, but. Alright. Um, I feel like in this scenario, I probably just do my upgrade immediately. And then um. I do feel like I'd probably Rize that and then Kaneki this, just to make sure they're dead. His ultimate will one-shot uh, one of the tails automatically, but I don't know if he'll confirm, like, it's not confirmed he'll attack it. So that kills, cool. And will Kaneki kill? Yeah, he's hitting for the same- No, I didn't! Barely missed it. That's the difference between my Kaneki being fully built and not. Oh, that sucks. Here, I'm just going to mash ult. Because my ult is fully charged behind me, obviously. I'm, I'm just going to pop it. Wait, does that kill? Oh my god, Ayato kills with his, like, passive. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. Use my ult. We'll do Noro, and then just use the Kaneki, because it'll do plenty anyway. I have another Uta in my hand, so we are golden. That's the break. This should be an ultra-weak, crazy-ass damage amount. Yeah, Jesus. 
He hit for about 40k more than me. And not, like, giant of a difference. Um, we're just gonna pop Noro immediately to also focus on the tail, and then pop Rize's and see if we end up destroying. Uh, I'm a bit worried that he just immediately locked on to the main bins and is going to kill them, but it seems like he didn't. I'll take that. The tails are broken. Good stuff. I actually haven't seen what this third phase's tails do, because they've never survived. I don't think they'll survive this time either. Achoom. And you're broken. Because it does exactly three weak damage. Good stuff. And then this turn, they should just get... Oh no, it actually didn't stun them for the turn. They probably just get like an extra debuff then. I kind of want to check that. Ow. Ow. Alright, since I'm not too worried about like... Nub being worried about how long I'm taking, I'm just going to check it now. Um... They gain momentum and boost their stats when they weaken. Uh, remove one momentum instead of stunning you. Okay. And that is like an inherent buff for themselves. So honestly, like breaking them just decreases the damage they do. You can't do more than 30% of their max HP in terms of damage on a the turn. They get five momentum as the battle starts and every turn that it ends, they do less and less. Uh, same thing. After it starts, all allies attack increase by 200%. Interesting. Momentum, imperative state. If you have no momentum, you will do nothing. Increases your damage taken, but reduces your damage dealt. Okay, so they seem to have passives that are synergizing with beating them with extreme levels of weak. Which they're not getting to because of how built these characters are at this point. It does seem like they could have made this, like a decent bit harder and not been too bad, but the trouble is how much will that affect the power you need to be at to beat it? Because oh, I, I feel like they can make this harder with different mechanics and still keep it at an abyss level at roughly around 500k, uh, 250k per person in a co-op setting. But very interesting. I think the momentum thing is probably going to end up being like a crazy ass future amplification build. But we don't really have any of those examples inside the game right now. Here, let's see if we can get someone in. Okay, we are back and we have a fellow here. I'm actually just going to go ahead and translate this while we're going. I'm just curious, honestly. It's actually so nice. So since I used to play uh, the JP versions of a lot of games, it was a major pain in the ass. Uh, to translate things at all via images. Here, I'm just gonna do my turn first. Um, I have a card. Boop. Oh, well, I guess we have a three star. This is gonna hurt him very bad. Wahoo. But uh, I used to have to use like Yandex Translate to be able to uh, translate any of the Japanese in images because it wasn't available via Google. But these days, you can actually toss it right into Google and uh, it will translate like Orange Bird, <laughs> as, as interesting as that may be of a name. Alrighty. Obviously, we smacked the other bin. He healed half of that, but should be all good. Retaliate's always nice. Do I upgrade this turn? I feel like we already have the buffs. I don't really care that much. I have a fully decked out hand right now. And then I'm going to AoE, and then I'm going to trust that the reasons at the end are going to hit the main bin, because he's going to die from just this hit, right? Okay, cool. I should have done the Nora one first, because Blood Piercer increases the damage they take. And they seem to cleanse it every turn. It's okay, not a massive deal. He's broken this turn anyway. Yeah, a lot of these 300k, like, Andes inside this game at the moment, they are very good at carrying you, and so it has been nice and convenient so far to be able to uh, just invite randos and have faith in them as well. I think we kill. It really depends on how much 
Amon ends up doing at the three star. I feel like he hits like a truck though. Yeah, I think we probably needed the Rize though. My Kaneki probably doesn't kill here. Even though he's below 35%, I'm not hitting for that. He will break, but that's not the priority. Nice. He's hitting for 433k, holy shit. How is this Rize built? She's such a boss killer. It is like actually super strong. Um, do I upgrade? No, I, I probably just do what I gotta do. You know, I, I'm just gonna do double Kaneki. Make sure I hit both of the tentacles. Um, next turn I upgrade and we are good. He probably hits other tail. Nice. Yeah, I like people who actually prioritize the extra segments, because you get extra drops off of every one you get as well. It is worth it. I do wish I would have used Kaneki cards on the main guy, but I wonder if we can take these hits. Uta will take increased damage though, so I wonder if he'll die. There's like a low, low chance they might single target him and kill him. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm just gonna pop my Uta and the dead ass, like we Flex, flex, flex. We're good. Um, this is actually the perfect turn as well, because that's one weak damage. Oh no! Plus three on Kaneki, right. So Aimon's not going to get his buff. It's fine. That's kind of what I'm always keeping in the back of my mind. Like, what characters will gain extra advantages off of getting the break? Because that seems like it's going to be a significant part of this game. Damn. You'd be hitting like a truck, though. Uh, if I ult that, I just, just gonna AoE, and then I don't have the Uta card, so we're just gonna rock on with it. Can I use my Rize? Because I only used two cards so far. Can I use my Rize? I couldn't use my three-star Rize. Okay, that was rather weird. My Naro's not going to kill the Tails. His Rize is definitely going to do it, though. Oh, why couldn't I use my three? She dodges. I'll take that. Ooh, that hurt, though. Them getting an extra turn, they currently have four stacks of momentum, which I think is a big part of why they're hitting so hard. So again, yeah, this is how they're balancing it. It's just you can't let it go on for many more turns. Um, I have three cards to use, so I'm just going to do the two Rizes and hope that it does plenty. I think we're good, though. Yeah, because this guy's Ammon is fucking nutty! We ignore the Yomo. My Yomo's bad. <laughs> And then these Rize should cruise for a bruise. Thanks. How much was the mine hit for? Okay, 370. So they are kind of even enough. It's just based on the H HP they're missing and the crits you get. All right, I'll take that. Thank you kindly. And thank you to Orange Bird for that amazing performance. I guess that would be, well, I don't know what the word for bird is. I know like generic bird types like Taka obviously is <laughs> hawk but yeah no not quite sure obviously I think that this event actually has some of the better drops so far so I grinded out this whole event already and got all of the rewards down here which is all just summoning tickets and rare enhancement stones I pretty much run this entire shop if you're doing these every day um but I'm probably gonna keep on picking up these Ammon dual blade tickets and just try and do a whole other multi inside the video, hopefully sometime soon. Um, let's actually, we're going to do one more multi on the Ammon banner right now, because obviously I'm trying to hit Pity one more time at 100 to see if we do get lucky or potentially get anything. That's a rainbow, though. Okay. I believe. I believe. I believe. Imagine if we do get a copy of Ammon, because then I can do a showcase on him, like, hopefully in the next couple of days, off of just grinding. Come on, I'm praying. Um, additionally, another thing that I would love is my third dupe of Nishiki. You're not interested in this. That's Corona! Yes! Okay, this is actually really, 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 really important. So, 
Right now, I've run into a bit of a snag, where no organization characters are really, really coveted and are really hard to find. And so, currently in my assignments category, I haven't been able to do this dispatch here whatsoever because I didn't have five no organization characters to put into it. But now I have Sukiyama, I have both of the uh, versions, they have to be UR obviously, um, I have both the versions of the sisters and Uta, so I just need to level her up and then I'll be able to actually do this and move on. Because this is like, this intel level, every time you advance, you get a couple of special ops that are supposed to be like progression blockers, which this one is a collection blocker. So if you don't have five organ no organization characters, you're not getting past it, and you're stuck on this permanently until you do. So definitely gonna work on that today. Excellent! That was such a win! Hell yeah! Thank you guys for watching. Um, obviously, let me know if you guys have any tips about the bin bros. I think it's just destroy, but that's just subjective. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and bye for now.